Hey guys, it's Sammy. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a review for you guys. And this is going to be a five star review. And this is going to be for Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. This book, you guys, I haven't read a contemporary that was this good in such a long time. To start off with the synopsis and some spoiler free thoughts, this centers around our main character, Zori, who loves astrology. She is very type A personality. She loves to plan everything out, lists and charts and journals, and she's very, very meticulous. And this story basically starts off with Zori being invited on a camping trip and she's very nervous about it. It's very random, it doesn't really fit into her schedule, but she's really excited and then she shows up to go on this camping trip and her ex-best friend, ex-something, is there, Lennon. And as they go on this camping trip, some things go down and eventually Zori and Lennon end up by themselves alone in the wilderness and this is a story of them getting back to safety and everything that comes along the way. I think the thing that I just loved so much about this book was that the characters were so authentic. They felt like they had been plopped out of real life and put into this story. Like, these characters do very realistic things. And I feel like some of the problem that I have with YA is that the characters are supposed to be 16 or 17, but they do things that seem very younger because they're trying to appeal to a younger audience, if that makes any sense. I understand when characters are younger than me and I understand like how to be in that mindset, but when characters are described as 16 or 17 years old, like that was me like the last two years, and they do things and I'm like, my sister who is 15 would not even like act this childish. Like this is about 16, 17 year olds, but it was still written in a way that 13 year olds could read this, but it also very much felt like 16 or 17 year old characters. It was just so good. Like it was just written so well. And all the characters were so like well thought out and the family dynamic i just can't i just can't stress it enough so good you guys need to read it there is a lot of subplots in this and i think that's one of the reasons i really love this there are so many things going on but i'm not going to spoil that for you guys but my basic thoughts on this first thought i read the first part of this like the first i think 150 pages on audiobook and i didn't like it i did not like the audiobook at all and i don't think that's anything against this story at all. I think if I would have read this entire book in physical form, I would not have had the same problems I have with the audiobook. I think it was just more of the narrator that I didn't like because obviously I pretty much disregarded those first 150 pages of that I didn't like and I still ended up giving this book five stars and I DNF this at the beginning because I really did not like the audiobook. So I would recommend this reading it in physical form or ebook or anything. I thought it really translated better when I was reading it or maybe the two thirds of the book that I had left was just that much better. I'm not entirely sure I would have to reread it again but I love this book. I loved, loved, loved our two main characters, Zori and Lennon. I loved the family dynamics of Lennon's parents and I loved everything that was going, all the topics that were dealt with with Zori's parents and there's a lot of different sort of subplots that gets into this other than just this fluffy contemporary that about these two people that had a past being trapped in the woods and I really really loved that. I also thought just the writing was just so engaging and I really really loved Jen Bennett's writing style and I didn't really get that when I was listening to the audiobook and when I read it I was like oh my god this is so good. I will say also that the beginning of this book some of the side characters drove me up a wall but I think that really just made the two-thirds of the book later like it really set it up really well so I think that was all necessary and I think you weren't supposed to necessarily like those characters and I just thought it was really well done and I don't really want to get into much else but as I said this is five stars I absolutely thought this is a, such an amazing contemporary story like I haven't read one that was this in-depth and just this well written and also dealt with so many different topics I just loved it I, I just I really have very few complaints about it and I don't know. I'm just, I'm so excited I read this. I'm so excited I gave it a second chance. I'm so excited I got a physical copy of it. From now on, this is going to be spoiler filled. So if you have not read this book, please, 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 please go pick it up. You will not regret it. It is definitely one of the best contemporary stories I've read in a really long time. So take that and let's get into spoilers. So I know there's probably not very many of you here because this book, I feel like, has not gotten a lot of hype. I haven't seen very many people read it. I see a few people that I know, like, have blogs on Goodreads that have read it. But other than that, I really haven't seen any booktubers talk about this book. So I know there's probably very few of you still here. But welcome. We're going to be talking about spoilers. So basically, I have a lot of thoughts. Zori's dad is horrid. I really, really, he really bothered me this whole time. 
Zori and honestly I don't know her name I think she just calls her mom so like Zori's mom in this or her adoptive mom her dad's wife you know if you've read it I loved their relationship it was so amazing I loved how she just took the place of her deceased birth mother and it just was so nice to read about and uh, I have like literally no complaints I love that the story didn't just end when they got back and there was still like a good bit of tying up to do and we still got the ending happy ending with her mom and I, I just love that I loved that that once they got back from the wilderness and they were like together that wasn't the end there was still other th plot lines that needed to be fixed and I just love that it included that that's one of the main reasons like there was just so many like good plot lines in this and they all were tied up so nicely and I just love that Regan was kind of the worst I did not like her I don't know if I was supposed to feel bad for her but I didn't so I think that in the beginning I really didn't like Zori because how can you like Brett is that a name Brett or whatever and you also could really tell that Brett and Regan had like this relationship throughout the whole thing but I think that was kind of the point like I don't think that was supposed to be like a big secret or a big reveal or whatever I didn't like like any of the first main characters except for that one kid that was kind of irrelevant it was just basically because he didn't talk like there was like summer brett reagan and there's the other one oh no, no no yeah there was like two other ones i don't know but like the beginning was kind of like cool but like i don't really care that much you know like they're just really annoying like stealing alcohol like oh you're so bad like <laughs> wow but yeah that's like kind of irrelevant but you know what i'm talking about but then obviously stuff goes down and then lennon and zori are together and I just loved it. Like, it was so well done. Like, I love Hate to Love, like, so much. And I really actually liked it a lot because this takes place over, like, the span of, like, a week. It would have been unrealistic if they just hated each other and then they loved each other. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't really have that kind of, like, development. But since they liked each other before and then they hated each other, it was still Hate to Love. But it had a past. So it was, like, I really loved that. Because it took place and it was, like, so in the moment in, like heightened up but like it was realistic because they had a past if that makes any sense so like it wasn't like insta love like insta hate to love does that make any sense i just loved it i thought it was just so well done and then like all the scenes like the waterfall scene and when they're in the forest with the lightning i'm just shook like it was just so well done this book talked about sex openly and it talked about protection and just all this great stuff and that's like never discussed in YA like absolutely never and I really respected that because that's like never brought up and it was still done in like a way that wasn't like Sarah J Mass like a new adult it was done in a way that was really realistic and I just loved that like I loved how realistic this book felt I mean obviously they get dropped in the woods and like there's that but they get lost along the way it's not like he's just suddenly this like master navigator and I just really appreciated how, like, real this book was. I mean, it was still very interesting. It's an interesting setting. There's a lot of interesting things that are going on. But the characters are very real and, like, the interactions they have with each other is very authentic. And I just love that. Like, I loved how authentic this book felt. Both of the characters were not virgins when they first got together. Like, that's something that's, like, never happens. Like, apparently, like, everyone's first relationship, like, it's, like, the first time. Which is, like, not the case like not every like i don't know there's just so many things in here that was just like yes like this makes sense it was so refreshing like it was just so refreshing and yeah i don't really know what else to say other than i just loved this book and i'll probably regret like missing something i didn't have this book which i read this in like so quickly like i just read it while i was camping by the way reading this while camping lovely best experience i just thought it was great like i thought lennon was like really great and i thought zori and him were like really great together and i just i just loved it it's going to be my review for starry eyes that was like completely incoherent but i think my spoiler free section was okay so if you guys are still around this is the end all right guys thank you guys so much for watching if any of you are still around i hope you enjoyed this video i hope i have maybe convinced you to pick up this book if you guys are even still around why would you be watching the outro if you didn't watch the middle anyway thank you guys comment down below if you i've maybe interested you in this book and yeah i hope you guys all have a great day i'll talk to you very soon bye i like me better when i'm with you